I think Facebook has helped society because you can keep in touch with those people from back home or from all over the world. If you have friends that go to different countries, you can keep in contact with those people. It's hurt society by allowing all that inf personal information to be on the internet for like anybody to see. So some predator could like look up your information and like come find you or something. Well, I think Facebook helps with communication just for especially students and young people. They, it's a quick communication and they talk to people, they get out and communicate, I guess. And it's hurt because it's not like a direct communication, like even a cell phone or a telephone is better because you actually can hear their, what they're saying and like what they're meaning. But with Facebook or over the internet or MSN or whatever, like you don't actually, you're not with the person and you don't know what they're actually trying to get across to you. I think the advantage is that it connects people from far away. I think that Facebook, just like anything else, has its benefits and its downfalls, but I would say overall, um, it's hurt society and the fact that we don't know how to talk to each other face to face anymore. Well, I'd say that it's helped society because now if like, I have friends back in Ohio that I want to keep in touch with, then I can do that really easy. I mean, it, it's pretty much awesome, but then on the other hand, it's really easy to just sit there for like five hours every day and just kind of be like, well, what's so-and-so doing and what's so-and-so doing? And it really kind of reduces the actual interaction that I have with people, like face-to-face -face interaction. Um, well, I think Facebook is positive because it helps people stay in contact over a lot, like a long distance. I have a lot of friends who live a long ways away from me and I'm able to stay caught up on their lives. But it's also been negative because um, people lose the art of being able to relate to each other face to face. Actually one of my experiences this morning I had posted a video of my son uh, singing and got a note from somebody who probably wouldn't have seen it otherwise that thanked me for the opportunity to see what John Nathan's doing right now in college. A way that it hasn't helped society is people create false identities and live their live a second life on Facebook. I don't have time for Facebook. It doesn't help me at all. It's added something to my life that I don't have time for. Facebook, to begin with, is a wonderful thing, mostly because it allows me to connect to people that I have never seen before, and some of the people that I've seen before and I haven't seen in a long time, such as high school classmates. And for me, that's a great thing. A bad thing about it is that I can also keep in contact with people I absolutely don't want to keep in contact with anymore. It allows me to instant message them, and more importantly, them instant message me, even when I don't want to talk to them at all. Uh, I think it's hurt society in some ways. Uh, it takes an enormous amount of time to stay up on things and also to stay in contact with people like Facebook, um, how much time it takes and how much time we're on it, and the impersonal part of it. But it's definitely helped because I have connected with some of my friends from high school that I haven't talked to for years and years. So that's been kind of cool, but it's really superficial connections. It's not real deep, like, get to know you stuff, it's like, superficial. But a big disadvantage is everyone knows your business. They know when you write on someone's wall, when you put pictures up, they know everything you've done, basically. Uh, I think it's helped people stay in contact, uh, keep contact with their friends, and it's hurt society because we're not outside as much, we're not as active, and running around 